So the main problem we're having today, the same junk train has been sitting here all night. So even though these are rideable, got your platform right up here. Problem is, there's literally no way to hide. There's no cubby like the one over on the uh, grain hoppers. There's literally not that much room. So, even if I was to ride this with the dogs and have my stuff over here and us right here, or vice versa in this, in this scenario, it wouldn't be worth it. We'd get caught in an instant, especially going through the next yard. So, it's a curse. Something I've been meaning to say for years in videos that kind of like fire, fire, firefighting you don't talk about how there hasn't been a call in a while because next thing you know there's gonna be a fucking call and you might get calls all day it's the same thing with hoboing especially when you make videos you don't uh, you don't say that you're gonna start riding trains again because next thing you know shit like this happens it happens all the fucking time when i do it too and i didn't think about that um, and it's always my luck. I'm always in a town that has a train that stops right here. And you're thinking, great, you know, we're going to get out of here. We're going to go to another town we haven't been to in a while. And the only trains to stop are either mixed, uh, junk cars like this, oil tankers, or auto racks. Happens every damn time. Don't believe me, ask Cooter. I used to call him and bitch about it all the time. <laughs> So, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to wait another night, because I've already been in this town for five days. Actually, six days, which is long for me. I don't know if I want to wait another night, or if, I'm, or if we're just going to head up to another town north of here and catch out there instead. Which would take us a couple weeks to get to. I don't know yet. So...